My name is Kelsey Timby, and I work for the Focus Ultrasound Foundation, a nonprofit dedicated to saving millions of lives around the world by accelerating the development and clinical adoption of Focus Ultrasound. I'd like to provide an introduction to cancer immunotherapy and Focus Ultrasound. All good science starts with a story, so I'd like to tell you the story of cancer immunotherapy. In the late 1800s, a cancer surgeon named Dr. William Coley noticed that his patients who developed an infection after surgery to remove their tumors sometimes did better in the long run, meaning their cancer was less likely to return and the patients lived longer. He theorized that the immune response to the infection was somehow curing cancers, and he began performing experiments based on this observation, injecting dead bacteria into his patients' tumors. While some of his patients were cured, others experienced severe side effects, and the concept of activating the immune system against cancer was discarded for nearly 70 years. In the 1950s, this idea reemerged and has steadily gained traction. Today, cancer immunotherapy is one of the hottest topics in the field of oncology. Cancer cells are simply cells that have developed a genetic mutation that allows them to grow continuously, and they are produced in our bodies on a daily basis. In the normal course of events, our immune cells recognize these cancer cells as abnormal and attack and kill them, and that's the end of the story. Unfortunately, that is not how it always goes. Some cancer cells develop defense mechanisms to protect themselves from the immune system. They can shield themselves, effectively preventing the immune cells from recognizing them as abnormal. Cancer cells can also utilize molecules called checkpoints to deactivate or turn off attacking immune cells. These checkpoint molecules are a necessary part of a healthy immune system. Immune cells are quite powerful and can cause a great deal of damage if left unchecked, as demonstrated by autoimmune disorders like lupus, multiple sclerosis, and rheumatoid arthritis. Checkpoints are used to protect healthy tissue from the immune system, but cancer cells co-opt this mechanism to their own advantage. Most of the immunotherapeutics on the market today are designed to block this defense mechanism in cancer cells and are called checkpoint inhibitors. In patients whose tumors lack a shielding mechanism, the application of checkpoint inhibitors allows the immune cells to remain active and attack the cancer cells, killing the tumor. In some cases, the immune system is able to search out and destroy cancer cells that have spread or metastasized throughout the entire body, thus curing the patient and producing the holy grail of cancer immunotherapy, the abscopal effect. Unfortunately, checkpoint inhibitors alone are rarely curative because most cancers have a shielding defense as well. So what is Focus Ultrasound and how does it fit into this story? Focus Ultrasound is a therapeutic, non-invasive medical technology that focuses multiple sound waves to a single point in the same way that a magnifying glass focuses light waves. The unfocused sound waves pass harmlessly through tissue, but at the focus, they combine to produce powerful effects. Focus ultrasound can generate enough heat to thermally ablate or cook abnormal tissue like tumors. It is being used to treat patients around the world with a variety of diseases, including Parkinson's disease, arthritis, and many forms of cancer. Here, we are looking at MRI images from a patient with advanced pancreatic cancer that had spread throughout his body who was expected to live for only a few more months. In the baseline image, you can see a large mass in the patient's pancreas. Focus ultrasound was used to kill a significant portion of this primary tumor, as demonstrated by the darkened area within the mass on the post-treatment image. 22 months later, the patient was doing well and his primary tumor had virtually disappeared. But what about the other tumors throughout his body that had not been treated? Here, we can see a 16 millimeter metastatic tumor in the patient's abdomen. Although this tumor was not treated with focus ultrasound, doctors noticed that this tumor had shrunk to less than half its former size. This demonstrated that focus ultrasound had induced a powerful immune response against the patient's cancer, shrinking tumors throughout his body and producing the holy grail of cancer immunotherapy, the abscopal effect. 
Researchers believed that focused ultrasound was knocking out the tumor shield, exposing the cancer cells so that the immune system was able to recognize them as abnormal and attack. However, many cancers are also protected by checkpoints. The focused ultrasound community was intrigued by the idea that this technology could affect the immune system and began trying to understand how. Focus ultrasound is a uniquely versatile tool and can interact with the body in many different ways. Focus ultrasound can produce either mechanical or thermal effects over a wide range of power. Low power effects utilized for imaging ultrasound like sonograms do not affect the tissue. Mid-power treatments produce transient effects, such as temporarily disrupting the blood-brain barrier. High powers destroy tissue permanently. Thermal ablation cooks tissue, while mechanical ablation, called histotripsy, vibrates cells so powerfully they disintegrate. While both thermal and mechanical treatments were able to induce an immune response against tumors, focus ultrasound alone was rarely enough to cure patients with advanced cancer that had metastasized throughout the body. The Focus Ultrasound Foundation partnered with the Cancer Research Institute, widely regarded as the world leader in cancer immunotherapy research and founded by Dr. William Coley's daughter. We believe that a combination of focus ultrasound and immunotherapies like checkpoint inhibitors will knock out both of cancer's defense mechanisms, drastically improving the success of cancer treatment. In collaboration with the Cancer Research Institute, the Focus Ultrasound Foundation developed five key questions that need to be answered to turn this belief into a reality. The questions are as follows. What are the comparative immune effects induced by different focus ultrasound modes? How do these compare to other therapies like radiation? How do the immune effects of focus ultrasound vary by tumor type? What clinical disease targets are ideal for focus ultrasound and immunotherapy combinations? How can we optimize focus ultrasound treatments for immunomodulation? What metrics can be used to predict clinical success? The Focus Ultrasound Foundation and the Cancer Research Institute are funding a number of research studies and clinical trials designed to answer these questions and bring the world one step closer to a cure for cancer. To learn more, please visit www.fussfoundation.org.